Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. And this time around, it is time to take a look at Freya's brand new episode plate. And to see whether it's actually on par with Ranka's brand new plate, or it might be even better. So let's take a look at the Gacha page and decide for ourselves to see whether we should actually be spending our hard earned singing stones on Freya. Oh, Ranka! So let's take a look at the episode place stats. And straight off the bat, 3862 total score, same as Ranka's, uh, focused on soul stats. Of course, the voice is low, and of course, the charm is pretty mediocre. The other thing you want to pay attention to is the three other divas that can use the episode plate, especially for those of you who are concerned about the diva improvement event, which will happen next month because of the rotation. So every um, month or so, the last event of the month is usually different. You know, Dana tries to change things up a bit to keep us players well a little bit still excited about the game i guess <laughs> i hope you guys are i'm still enjoying the game um you know enjoying the music of the macross franchise and of course the live performances of the 3d divas in their brand new costumes uh, that is if you are able to unlock the, unlock them <laughs> so set the skill for this episode plate so up just like rankas they get the 90 percent boost in that particular stat so let's move on to the second page and usually that's really the deciding factor the life skill then of course the final page with the special note attachment if there is any all right so active skill just like Rankas, exactly the same for five seconds you get a 70 percent boost in score and what is this now? Apparently the life skill is different. So the difference between Rankas and Freyas is basically the life skill. Hopefully that last page might also be different. Um, mode score up. So during Cho Utahime mode, alright, so that is if you successfully defeated the the enemy during the Valkyrie attack phase and you've gotten Cho Uta Hime mode activated. Um, basically, your note tabs that is um, good and below, so it's basically a good or a miss. Um, yeah, you will gain that um, 110 boost and score. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so is this skill any good? <laughs> <laughs> From the tone of my voice, you can probably tell. Um, if you guys have been listening, listening to me explain about this skill in the past, ever since its first appearance, this this skill is just not there for anyone who is trying to get a good high score. Um, mainly because, well. If you guys are able to get a perfect full combo through the difficulties that you can handle, this skill is pretty pointless. <laughs> Aside from the fact that this episode plate has a pretty decent high score, or rather total score, um, it is still usable for a good high score achievement um, attempt, but it is definitely not an episode plate that you use to get really good high scores. So with that said, let's see the last page to determine whether this plate is definitely uh, close to Ranka's episode plate or just below it due to the life skill. So oh Freya fans, I'm so sorry. This is definitely not one of Freya's better episode plates but I have to say that new costume is looking fine okay so if you guys didn't know um, the name of the costume is Canary Apple yeah apparently all the musical instrument um, inspired costumes are gonna be named Canary and of course they're gonna have that uh, vegetable or fruit name um, that is you know um, related to the diva so Ranka is well known for her carrot costume 
in the TV series. Well, she did do a commercial with a carrot costume. And of course, Freya is well known for the Windermere apple. So yes, uh, I'm pretty interested to see what the other divas will be related to in terms of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Especially Basara. What is Basara related to? Is he like chili? I don't know, because he's red hot fiery. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments down below what you think the other divas will be related to in terms of vegetables and fruits. Um, so yeah, and aside from that, if you guys are just regular Utah Cross players, I would highly recommend you to stay away from this gacha unless you're like me who just wants to unlock all the costumes available for every single diva. Uh, then I guess we had to dip down on the discounted template pool, which is what we're gonna do right now. But aside from that, like I said, if you are Freya fans, please don't let me stop you from trying to attain your waifu's brand new episode plate. Um, the illustrations are definitely wonderful, but of course, if you are trying to save money, uh, illustrations can be found in the movie commercial for the costume itself. <laughs> Play smart! And save those singing stones for maybe Freya's new 7 star episode played in the future. Um, so just, just my tip towards you guys. So let's do the usual thing, let's dive into the free single pool first to see how the luck rate is. Okay, no loading at all. That's not a good sign, but you know, the month of April has just been horrible for me. We do get a single Valkyrie animation, but you know, that doesn't usually mean anything. Yeah. Okay, let's see if this is a rarer common plate. Apparently it is! So I guess that single Valkyrie animation is still some sort of a hint. But still, I wouldn't put my luck on all this. So okay, um, as usual, we're gonna just make use of all the free gacha pulls to try and pull out that good luck. Um, I know, we, we still have to um, speculate on how long the dry spell will be. Three Valkyries on a free daily pool. That's a bit unusual. And it didn't change to a red box. Hmm. Is this a sign? Okay. What's with that buggy <laughs> image load? Usually it just loads a single image. That's strange. That's never happened before. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now I'm a bit worried that with all this interesting luck we are getting from the single pools, should I avoid pulling the template from the Super Dimension Gacha? Okay. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it because. Well, it's better to pull a 6 star episode played out from the Super Dimension Gacha uh, rather than, you know, something f wonderful from Freya's brand new featured Gacha because it doesn't have any um, featured 6 star six star or 7 star episode plates. So, we're gonna go with this. If the luck goes to this pool, it's still better than pulling out from the brand new featured gacha. There we go, we get some decent load speeds. Okay, yep. There we go, so I was right to speculate on the weird um, luck appearances on the uh, Valkyrie animations. Okay, so here's the first red box. We do have that rainbow box guaranteed for us, but we don't know if it will evolve. Okay, so apparently that common box evolved to a red one, and the rainbow box gives us a 5 star episode plate for Mikumo's uh, Key Art 2 for my cross crossover life costume. So that's pretty interesting. Okay.
Okay, so a pretty decent pool. We do get an evolution on a 4 star episode plate. Oh, another one! Wow! And apparently that Mikumo episode plate is new for me. Interesting. Hmm. So a pretty decent pool out from the free Super Dimension Gacha. Well, it's not exactly free. The tickets kind of is paid by the uh, monthly subscription and if not, you know, gain from events. So it, it takes effort and money. <laughs> okay, score and damage on the life skill. No special notes attached to it. I think it's pretty okay. It's a decent episode play. Not the best from Kumo Kumo. So, alright, so let's dive into the actual thing right now. And hopefully the luck retains and give us our first featured <laughs> episode plate for the month. I mean, the, the luck for April is just horrendous. Maybe, maybe it takes maybe a one month break before the good luck f comes in again, you know, with all the good 6 star, 7 star episode plates. I don't know. I don't know how long the dry spell will be, but we can just speculate. So, we do get 3 Valkyrie animations, it's pretty mediocre. Ooh. Okay, 2 red boxes, I don't know. It seems like it'll end up dry. But if we do get an uh, episode plate with the featured costume points, I think that's all I'm asking for during this dry spell. Being able to unlock costumes, well, the hard way is still a plus in my books. You know, considering that it's a gacha game. And we are pretty lucky that um, Dana is kind to us, Macross fans. Uh, the rates are definitely higher than any other gacha games out there. So, okay, there it is. The notification that we can unlock Freya's costume with episode ops. Uh, if we want to go down that route, which is likely in my case, thanks to that new episode plate with costume points for it. So it's not too bad. I think this episode has gone through a pretty decent luck roll with Mikumo's brand new. Oh, uh, well, it's not exactly new, but it's new for my collection. Um, so getting any new 5 star episode plates and you know evolving some older episode plates it's all good in my books. So I won't go further than this, um, definitely I'm pretty satisfied with what I've got with the bare minimum. Uh, mi bare minimum! I'm sorry guys, I just woke up, literally I just woke up and I had to do this video. Uh, it's been a hard day of work last night and I'm still very tired <laughs> and yes I'm still recovering from the uh, fever and flu so yeah pardon me on all the stuttering and you know unable to pronounce certain words it's just how I am I'm 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 like forever in this exhausted state <laughs> so do me a favor guys leave a like on this video do all the commenting, your thoughts and all this. Converse with me, talk with me. And what do you guys think of the um, the game, the episode play, the costume design, the naming of the costumes. <laughs> and all the good stuff. And yes, hit that subscribe, right? Subs see, I can't even pronounce subscribe. Subscribe button. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Oh god, I'm, I'm just gonna end it here. Bye. <laughs>